Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are um, making an animated door. Now, if you don't remember from my <laughs> first video on this channel, Animated Door Tutorial Roblox Studio, um, I told you how to make an animated door that wasn't actually animated, and that kind of annoyed a lot of people, as you can see. If we go ahead and play this, the, uh, the door just kind <laughs> of teleports open. Yeah, it was not animated at all, and there was a lot of comments, um, about a hundred of these comments were like, Hey, this is not an actual animated door. By the way, thanks for 1.4 thousand likes on my first video. 60 thousand views. It's crazy. Um, regardless, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a better animated door. And as you can see, this one is actually animated. It's got sound and it's got a door prompt. So I thought that was pretty cool. And another cool thing about this door is the amount of parts on it. So as you can see, there are corroded metals and diamond plates and metal textures on this door, as well as text. There's text on the door. So the good thing about this door is not everything has to be union like the last door. So you can make it out of a whole bunch of different materials rather than just one material. And it's actually quite simple to follow along with. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So what I'm going to do first is make the door. So go ahead and make the door however you please. I'm going to go ahead and make this here. Um, I'm not going to make this as detailed as this one. This one took quite a bit of time. As you can see, there's a lot of parts on here. But we're going to make this with a whole bunch of parts. Well, not a whole bunch, I guess. Just a decent amount. Just so you can actually see that you can build it with many parts. Just so you know I'm not throwing you off here. When you're making your door, I recommend to build in point two. Point two studs, because you can add a lot more detail this way, rather than, I guess for instance, building in uh, one stud. Because if you build with one stud, you can barely add details to the door. Like what, you could you can build the door, <laughs> then you can put a handle on. That's as best as you're gonna get with one stud. So definitely I recommend building in point two studs. And even if, you really wanted to build in point one stud because it really makes a huge difference. Now, if you want building tips, I do consider myself a good builder. Uh, so if you have any ideas for tip videos, if you want to get into building on Roblox, um, it's really fun. So I will definitely do some tutorials if that's what you're looking for. But as for right now, we are just going to be <laughs> building a door. Nothing too special. Okay, I said I wasn't going to make it super detailed, so I tried not to, but uh, I almost got carried away. So here's the door. Um, now what you're going to want to do first is make sure that none of it is anchored, because that's what our plugin is going to do. Yes, I got a plugin that I will leave in the description, because normally you have to script uh, the welding process of this, but this plugin will just do that for us and implement it into the model itself. So before you do that though, you got to make the hinge. So you're going to want to make a little square on the side, make sure the square is the same width as the door, as well as the same height, just like this. And then you're going to make sure that all widths are the same on either side, so it's a, it's a square, I could have just said that. 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So here it is. Now go ahead and make this, well I, I guess you don't have to make it neon, you can make it whatever color you want. I'm going to just do neon, so you can see that's a disgusting color. Okay. Go ahead and get the door out of the way. We have this. You're going to want to name the hinge to hinge. H-I-N-G-E with a capital H. This will be known as hinge, which we will reference in our script later. Once you've named that hinge, go ahead and select it all. And either click the group here, control G, or command G. Um, in case you're on like a delicious Apple product. So. Name this model, door, you guys kind of spell door, put a capital D. Once you're in door, open it up and scroll down till you find primary part in the properties. Click primary part and you should see a little square next to your cursor with a red and black arrow. Use that black and red arrow square to click on hinge right here. And that should set primary part in properties to hinge. Now. Make sure the plugin works. I want you to go to model. 
Under constraints and model on the right, you should see draw on top, constraint detail, and show welds. Make sure they're all connected, or all turned on. Once you click plugins, go to the weld model, which I'll leave in the description, and click it. And that will bring these green constraint welds to your main part, which is the hinge here, which you set to primary part. If, you, if this didn't show up, maybe it's because you didn't set this to primary part, and if you didn't do that, it will not show up. Otherwise, go to model and try turning these on. Now, as you can see, each part will be connected by a green strand. So the more parts you have, such as this door, as you can see, you will have a lot of green strands. There are so many here because there's over like 100 parts within here. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and turn that off if it's annoying you, but now you know it's work working. Um, and here's where the fun part begins. So in the door, click the plus, and you're going to want to start by adding in two sounds. Get one, duplicate another one. Name one of the sounds to open with a capital O, and name the second one to close with a capital C. Now open up the opened one, and you're going to find an opening sound icon. So for instance, I have this asset IE. I, that, that's not language. Asset ID. Copy that and paste it into the sound ID. And it'll make a sound. You probably can't hear that. So I will turn this up to three. So for instance, that's an opening sound. And that's the sound that the door is going to make when it opens. And you're going to want to do the same thing for closed. Now, like I said, I'll leave these in the description if you want them. Or you can find your own sound. Or you don't have to have a sound in general. In fact, the sound is completely optional. There we go. And before we start the script, we're going to open up the door and we're going to insert a proximity prompt. This is what we're going to use to open the door. So inside the proximity prompt, let me just grab this out and move it over so you can see. We have a whole bunch of different features. Oops. We've got the action text enabled clickable prompt and all of these other options so action text it's what the I guess the prompt will say when you get near it so right now it says interact but we could say hit E to open door I mean you could change it to that you can change it to something longer um, enabled make sure enabled is on key code is E. You can change it. I don't think you can change it to whatever you want, but it's just got a whole bunch of different letters here for you to pick from. Like two. <laughs> you could make it two. We got we got the max activation distance, which is 10. I recommend nothing below 10, otherwise you have to get really close to the door. And make sure the name is Proximity Prompt, just like this. Same capitals. Now that we finish that, we can go ahead and insert a script into the door. So, if you have named everything exactly the same way I have named my things and done everything the same, you can go ahead and insert this script, which I've made for the other door. Just like so. Otherwise, if you have, like for instance, if the sound is named close sound, <laughs> you could you're gonna have to change the values of it within this uh, script, which shouldn't be hard for experienced players, players, experienced scripters, but if you don't know what you're doing, I recommend you just go ahead and uh, make sure it's all named the same things that I have here, and grab this from the description. If you wanna know what each thing does, stay here. Otherwise, skip to this timestamp and uh, continue the video. So we have our local variables, of course. We reference the tween service. We also reference the door, which is script.parent, the door hinge, which is the primary part, and then tween info, which is just info about how the door is going to move. We've also got this local function here called door cframe. Now this is just gonna reference the door opening. So we have no positional data represented by these zeros, but the negative 100 is the angle in which the door opens. So you can change this 100 to whatever value you want the door to swing to. Local door C-frame closed is the same thing as door C-frame 
except it sets it to its original start value, which is zero. So this is the close. The local proximity prompt, prompt vanish and prompt appear, whether or not you can see the prompt when the door is open or closed. And this is the function that runs it all. So when the proximity prompt gets triggered, it'll connect this function. It'll play the door C-frame, the prompt will disable, and the sound will play. It'll wait three seconds, and you can change this to whatever length of time you want the door to be open. And then down here, it's basically the opposite of this. It closes the door and plays the door sound. This wait one represents time, obviously one second, and then the sound will play, because it won't play when the door starts to close, it'll play when the door closes. So, if you have done everything the way I have done it and told you to do it, it should work. If not, if it is not working, make sure you rewatch the video, make sure you did everything correctly. So let's go ahead and check this out. Walk up to the door, hit E to open door. The sound plays, it opens. Three seconds later, it closes with the sound. So this is the door. And unlike the other video, this one can actually be opened from behind. So here is our amazing door. If you enjoyed this video, like it, please, please like it. So that's the door. I will leave the door in the description below. I will take the other model off sale. I will be taking it off sale and I will be putting in the description of the old video a link to this one because that one no longer works. But this door is so much better anyways, there's no need for you to go back to the other one unless you want to rewatch it. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you do want some building tips, I will be happy to uh, give you some building tips. For instance, if you want to build an emergency bunker door. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.